This next comedian has got to be the funniest white female comedian you've seen, at least in the last half hour. Uh, give it up for Denise Rowe, everybody. Pineapples are on sale at Kroger. <laughs> you have to run out and get some. Anyway, I'm, I'm really excited. You know, last week was my favorite holiday. You all know what that was, don't you? If you were here last week, don't tell you. It wasn't Easter. It wasn't Passover. You know what it was? Good Friday. Good Friday. Don't you love a holiday celebrates killing your kids? <laughs> I'm a mom, you know. I just can't understand why God, why did God wait? So Jesus was 33. He wasn't even living at home anymore. I got a 28-year-old who is. Anyway, uh, anyway, as you can see, I'm a mom. I have three kids, one of each. And uh, my daughter called me the other night, bitching and moaning about housework. So, you know, I had a little chat with her. I said, why don't you make it easy on yourself, dear? Why don't you get a dishwasher? She said, you know, Mom? I was dated. I was engaged to two Mexicans, and I'm not going there again. That's it. Anyway, I'm getting I'm getting pretty old, so I figure I can give everybody advice. Not necessarily good advice, but advice. Okay. So my first one, I thought I to make a list of things I'd advise you on. First is dating, internet dating. Anybody do internet dating here? All right, one one person on mid to. I know there's at least two. Anyway. Um, I've done internet dating, and I'm going to tell you my advice is don't lie. Whatever you do, don't lie. I'll tell you what, I had a date with a guy in Northville. He said on the internet that he was um, a dentist, he was 5'10", and he was financially secure. Do you know, I drove from Ann Arbor to Northville, what's that, 15 minutes? I grew six inches! You know, I got there. The only thing 5'10 on that guy maybe was the inseam of his pants. They were like up to here. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you right now, don't lie about your weight or her height. If you want to lie about your weight, go to Weight Watchers. Forget Match.com. <laughs> right, next thing is gifting, all right? This is for the men. Write this down. You might want to remember this. There are two words, right, ladies? Two words you never want to see on top of a gift box. Those are Lane Bryant. That's a start with fat ladies. Victoria's Secret, very good. Size small, they have a lenient return policy, so don't go on. Okay, next thing we'll talk about is, let's see, children. Children, you know what they are, children. They're the second most effective form of birth control. That's right. Let me put it this way, you're up, you're up half the night, right? Someone's sucking on your breast, you wake up in the morning. You gotta do the same thing with a baby. No one's got that kind of energy. <laughs> Alright, so then, if you have kids, you need advice on babysitting. Babysitting, I got two words for you on babysitting. You ready? You know what they are? Duct tape. <laughs> Duct tape. It costs $3, it doesn't eat all your food, it doesn't call all your friends, it doesn't invite your boyfriend over when you're out of the house. I've been there. Okay, so then let's see, what do we got after that? Uh, let me see, babysitting. Okay, marriage. Let me give you advice on marriage, okay? You know what marriage is, don't you? Marriage is the most effective form of birth control. <laughs> All right, you can laugh. You guys think I'm kidding? Go to any drugstore, any drugstore, I dare you, and check it out. They sell condoms in a 12-pack, don't they? One for each month of the year. Whether you need it or whether you don't. All right, well, let me get back to, let me go back to, uh, leave you with the advice, and go back to, um, the religion thing, okay? I just wonder, I want to ask you something. You know, when they say the hand of God impregnated Mary, I just want to know, do you think it was the hand? Do you believe that? I think it was some other part of the body. And then driving to work every day, I see a sign that says, the Lamb of God. Jesus, the Lamb of God. I keep thinking, what if God had been a vegetarian? I'm going to go upstairs and ask those people and check and see what they have to say. <laughs> Thanks, that's my time. You've been great. Captain!